Hello, HUD House Hunters. It's Donnie Corn with Call to Springs Foreclosure Deals.com. Well, today we're bringing you a property at 6056 Miramont, which is in the Stetson Hills area, on roughly Stetson Hills and Tut area, so the eastern part of Call to Springs. This is a 2001 built home that is in immaculate condition for an amazing price. We're going to wrap this intro up quick because you can hear our neighbors have decided to join us. So come on out, let's take a look at Miramont. All right, so we're inside 6056 Miramont. As I promised you, this is a 2001 built home. It's got three bedrooms, two and a half baths, a two car garage, and over 2,000 square foot of living space. Now Stetson Hills, which was built around 2000 to 2008, is typically a 200 to $225,000 neighborhood, but this house is the exception. So the right house hunter is gonna get a great deal on this home. Here we go, we're inside. You walk into a nice formal living room area off to the left here. Then off to the right, this would be kind of your sitting room where you'd put up the um, TV and you know have the couch maybe against this wall here and enjoy the game. What I love about these more recently built houses is the huge windows that Pulte, who built this home, is famous for. You got tons of natural light coming into these places. And although this is a good sized house, it feels even bigger because of all the natural light that's being let in. We're gonna check out the backyard when we're done, but for now let's head this direction. As you walk into the kitchen, you've got a dining room space. Plenty of room to set down your dining table. The patio slider, again, letting in a lot of natural light and making it so you can kind of have outdoor eating while inside. And then the kitchen, which is in great shape. The cabinets look basically untouched. Not a lot of this house doesn't look basically brand new, guys. This still has what we call builder white paint on it, meaning they never put any other paint colors on top of it. This is just like buying a brand new home that you can come in and personalize for yourself and you're buying it so far under market, it will shock you, okay? Continuing on, just a little bit, I want you to see the laundry room, which is just off the garage here, and of course that door is gonna lead you out to the two-car garage, which you saw from the front. And that's pretty much the first level of 6056 Miramont. From there, I wanna take you upstairs and show you the bedrooms and bathrooms. Come along. All right, upstairs at Miramont. Now, this is a three bedroom, two and a half bath. There's a half bath on the main level and two full baths on the upstairs level. So we wanna take a look at the secondary bedrooms and baths up here. To start that, you're gonna see here's the full bath. As you can see, it's got the pretty standard plastic surround, linoleum floors. I, I am a little surprised at how new and fresh this whole thing feels though, guys. It really doesn't feel like they ever lived in this property. This is the first of the two secondary bedrooms. Decent size, pretty average for a house with this square footage in this neighborhood needs pretty much nothing. There's not a nick in the walls. There's really nothing to do on this thing but move in. This is in amazing shape. I'm really shocked. You'll notice here that the attic is exposed. The reason that is is because HUD checks out the roof. When they inspect the property, they take it back on foreclosure. Given the age of this property, I would say the roof is probably fine. About the same, same size, nice bright open space, not a nick, nothing. This really looks completely unpersonalized. Whoever did live here lived in here very sparingly and didn't do much to it. It looks to be in pretty good shape. The doors are in nice shape. The uh, carpet is in amazing condition. All you gotta do guys is move in and pick up the equity this property has to offer and there is quite a bit of equity to be gained. Finally, we have the master bath and bedroom, excuse me. So the master is a decent size, bigger than the other two bedrooms by a bit. And um, you know, you put your king size bed there probably. You've got closet space, his and hers closets. So this is probably gonna be his cause it's a little smaller. And over there we have hers, which is a bit more of a walk-in closet space. And then of course the master has its own attached bath. That's a nice feature because you know, you only start seeing that more often on newer architecture like this one where this is just kind of a standard thing that you expect to have an attached master bath. Usually, that comes with a bit more of an expense. This one is simply not the case when you start looking at price per square foot. We're gonna take a real quick look at the unfinished basement. Not much to see, but just getting an idea on the possibilities, and then we'll head out from there. All right, we're downstairs at Miramont. And as you can see here, it's an unfinished basement. Not much to do here. Um, if you were to finish this off, by code, you'd have to put the bedroom probably over here because of the window and then maybe a bathroom, which the plumbing is kind of back here for the bathroom. So not much to see in an unfinished basement, but it is important to note that with the unfinished basement, this is a 2,100 square foot home for an amazingly low price, especially given the amazing condition and the fact that it just doesn't need any work added to it. You're picking up equity for doing nothing. That's what we talk about when we say it was a sweet deal. Let's check the backyard, we'll get you rolling, okay? 
We're out back at 6056 Miramont, and as you can see here, you've got a huge backyard, tons of square footage back here, and this lawn is as well maintained as the rest of the house. You've got a nice rock structure through here, some bark. You know, guys, these foreclosures sit for a while, so it just goes to show if it still looks this good now, imagine what it looked like when this house was occupied. We're gonna recap Miramont quickly, because our dog is barking here, but we're at 6056 Miramont Street. Now this is a three bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage home built in 2001. Typical retail comps in Stetson Hills for this property are roughly 200 to maybe $215,000, but you can have this one for only 165 grand. That's right, for $165,000, you're walking into 35 to $40,000 worth of instant equity, and this is a great example of buying equity without doing any work whatsoever. Guys, you simply gotta move into this place. It is good to go. So how do you do it? Go online, call to springsforeclosuredeals.com. Still the leading resource for finding the best deals on foreclosures in and around the Call of the Springs area. You gotta register when you get there. That gives us our, your information, gives us an opportunity to contact you, and puts you on an instant update list to get you the latest properties right as they hit the market and of course keep you a part of these video feeds that we're sending out right now. Don't miss out guys, interest rates are still stupidly low, inventory is still higher than normal, but it is heading the other direction. And when the inventory goes down, prices will start to head up. So this is an opportunity for you to get a great deal while the getting is still good. With that, this is Donnie Corum with Call to Springs for Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next one.